Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. Usually, when we create dashboards, we put in slices to help us filter our calculations so that we can have different perspectives when we slice. But did you know that you could actually use slices to also create different scenarios of your calculation? For example, you have total sales. You want a best case, base case, or worst case. You can use a slicer to create these three results and then use that slicer to switch the different calculations. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. Okay, so this is my sample dashboard and it reports revenue, costs, profit, profit margin, and so on. If you look down here, you realize I have a slicer called Selector. What this slicer does is to help me know the impact of applying a discount or not on our profit margin okay so currently I've selected no discount it gives me 24.7 percent okay if I select discount obviously my profit margin is going to take a hit so I have 19.7 percent okay and you realize that all my KPIs are also affected with a selection whether discount or no discount it helps you create scenarios of your calculations to see the bottom line now the data for the discount lives in my data sets. Okay, so I have it here. So in this case, I've chosen to toggle it to help me create different calculations. We are going to do the same thing here using the sample sales data. I've made this available in the video description. You can download and practice along. So we have two tables here. One, we have sales. Okay, and then we also have scenario here. So bottom line, we want to take the transactions here and then calculate total revenue okay calculate total cost and also calculate profit okay now based on what we get we can now simulate using these rates for best case and worst case and see how it impacts our bottom line okay so we are going to first commit these two tables into the data model these are already tables I've named this scenario this is called sales okay because we are going to be using the slicers and we are also going to calculate measures it will be good to take this to the data model now the data model lives in power pivot okay this is a tab here if you don't have power pivot and you are using 2016 excel beyond you can enable it by coming to data okay and then you click in the data tools this power pivot window it opens the window for the first time and then you are able to use power pivot so I'm standing here, I'll come to Power Pivot, I'll add this to my data model. So the first table is lifted. I can close this Power Pivot window, come to my scenario, okay, come back to Power Pivot, and then add this to the data model as well. So this now gives me two tables, sales and scenario. Right. Now I'll proceed and calculate my revenue. So if you look at it critically, Every transaction has its own price, cost, and quantity. So I need to calculate revenue by multiplying the price for each transaction by the quantity for each row. And then when I'm done, I'll sum this. Okay. We are going to use a DAX function called SUMX. So it simplifies this process by multiplying the price and quantity okay, for revenue, and then it will sum it together. We call this iteration. So to do that, I'm going into my power pivot. Okay, I can create my measures. Measures are simply calculations from our data model. So I'll come here, create a new measure. This will live in my sales table. So I'll name this total revenue. Okay, then I'll now create my formula. So here I'm using DAX. Okay, so sum X. Okay, and then I'll open my brackets. So it requires a table. So the table we are calculating from is the sales table. So I'll bring this, then I'll bring a comma. The expression is the multiplication of the columns. Okay, so for each row, I want it to multiply price, okay, by quantity. Okay, then I'll close this, right? You have the option to check your formula to be sure everything is okay. Then you can also format your calculation as well. So I'll set this to a thousand separator two decimal place and then I'll click OK. Okay, 
At this point, we can call it in a pivot table or we can use a simple cube formula to see how much total revenue is. So equal to cube value, okay, which basically returns the aggregates from your cube or your data model. So now you bring a double quote to call the data model. You close your double quote, okay, you bring a comma. Now after the comma, you bring another double quote to call your measure. So the measures are here, I'll tab it, bring a dot, and then I have my total revenue here. Okay, so this will now bring the total revenue that I just calculated. So I'll close this and then I have my total revenue. We are going to use the same method to calculate total cost. So I'll go to power pivot, measures, new measure, still in the sales table, I'm going to call this total cost. Okay, so now when I come here, the same sum x, okay, from the sales table, this time around, I'm multiplying costs for each transaction okay by the quantity and then I'll close this I can check my formula to be sure everything is okay okay use a thousand separator as I did earlier and then I'll click okay okay so again we can call this using the pivot table or cube formulas so I'll copy this down okay the same formula and all I need to do is edit total revenue Okay, to total cost and then I have my total cost now at this point I can subtract and get profit but I want profit to respond to my slices so I'll have to go back to power pivot okay measures new measure because we already have revenue and cost here so I'm going to call this profit okay this is simply going to be a subtraction revenue minus the cost that I calculated earlier. Check formula to be sure everything is okay. Come to number, format this and then I'll click okay. So again if I call this control D and I edit this total cost to profit. Okay, I have this. So on the surface it appears we are doing well. Okay. But if I insert a pivot table, so I'm going to insert a pivot table again from the data model. So I'll come to insert Okay, now in the pivot table icon, I have from data model here. Okay, so I'll click this in this existing worksheet, right? So I have my pivot table. I can call these same indicators which lives in my sales. So total revenue into the value section, total costs, and then total profit. So you realize that I have the same display. Now I can slice this by state. Okay, so if I slice this by state, it gives me a breakdown of our performance across states, right? Now if I sort this from largest to smallest, so I'll stand here, come to data, okay, and then sort this Z to A. You realize that not every state is returning a profit, right? So this is where I want to create some simulation here to know what I can adjust price with okay to be able to let every state return a profit okay so now to be able to do that I have to insert a slicer so the slicer basically is going to help me control these calculations and then present the different scenarios this is a data model so I can stand anywhere go to insert and then I can insert a slicer here from the data model Okay, so I'll click open and then from the scenarios table, which is this one, I would insert a slicer on the scenario, right? And then I'll click okay. So I'm now set. I now have my slicer here. Okay, let me go a bit to the right. So now this is what I want to do. I'm going to put in some values for best case so let's say best case is 50 percent increment on prices base case is still zero and then worst case is minus 10 percent right so i have this now what i want to do is if i select any of these scenarios i want the revenue recalculated and adjusted by this rate okay so it can go up it can go down right so what it means is i need to go back to my calculation for revenue okay so I'll come to my measures 
manage measures okay and then I'll come to my total revenue and then I'm going to edit this okay so here let me just make this a bit bigger so you can follow I'm going to state a condition so condition basically says that I'll push this down using alt enter so if okay I select anything from this slicer so this is going to use the function a DAX function called is filtered okay so basically the slicer controls this table okay so if the scenario table okay is filtered it means something has been selected okay then I'll close my bracket for is filtered then I'll bring a comma now my value if it is true okay is going to be the same sum x okay but this time around I'm adjusting the price so I'll push the quantity down so basically what I'm saying is we'll take one okay plus the selected value now selected value is one of the DAX functions very useful it used to exist only in Power BI but now it has been added to Excel so you can access it from here so the selected value from my scenario table okay to return the rate okay so here I want the rate that has been selected that correspond to my selection okay so this I'm going to close for scenario and then close for this bracket okay and then go on to multiply this by quantity right so this is going to be the result if it is true right if nothing has been selected then I'll bring a comma and then zero for false and then I'll close this okay so essentially the same formula but we are just adjusting it for the rates let's check our formula to be sure everything is okay it's okay here then I'll click OK and then I'll close this okay so I want to now apply a conditional formatting on this so data bars okay now we have not selected anything right so this is going to return zero okay if I select base case now I have not linked this slicer to my pivot table so I'm going to link this slicer to my pivot table and also link the same slicer to my calculations so to do that I'll select right click go to report connections and then link this to my pivot table and then I'll click OK now at this point it will be good to refresh your data to be sure everything kicks in so now let's go ahead and select our base case so this gives us 59 okay our best case gives us 88 which is an improvement and then our worst case okay is a, a case where we reduce our prices okay so at this point you can now see the impact of the rates here on your prices of course once you change these numbers okay you can easily adjust it and then see the updated numbers okay I want to let my Q formulas also come along okay so all I need to do is add the slicer to my formula so I'll come here put in the comma and then add the slicer which is called scenario to this one okay and then come to cost as well add this okay and then profit would also have the scenario as well okay so now at this point whatever I select okay should be the same so this is my base case 59,000 profit my best case okay 154 everybody's making a profit if prices go down by 10 percent okay this is my aggregate and then this is my breakdown okay so please practice thanks for watching and see you in a subsequent video if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send ad to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly you can also visit our youtube channel finest skills hub all our old videos are here please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles